good day everyone here to celebrate summer we have Nendroid 339A Hatsune Miku Swimwear version and Family Mart 2013 version. Wow, that's a mouthful. So, this is the Family Mart version, which we have unboxed a version of her in that style before, which I'll link at the end of this video. But this one is the same, but in the sense that she has adorable swimwear accessories. I said, hey, I'm going to get a Nendroid that kind of celebrates summer, and we got this one. Purchased from Ami Ami Used was only uh, $20, I think, plus shipping, of course. So if only shipping didn't exist, things would be so much cheaper to buy online. But that's why it's good to buy in bulk, so it makes it worth it. So let's get her opened up. I don't even know if the original owner opened this. It seems like they didn't, or they managed to get another sticker uh, just like this one. So let's get her opened up. Good smile company. Uh, what makes me sad is some Nendroids are exclusive to claw machines and games in Japan, which I guess I can understand that. Uh, United States and Canada, and I don't know. I'm going to speak from my point of view. Canada doesn't really have stuff like that. Like, there's nothing that I can really think of that's exclusive to a brand or product that you can only win in a vending machine. Basically, everything you can get over here can be purchased in a store, um, purchased online without someone having already purchased it. For in this case, they won it in a crane machine, and then they got it. Basically, everything over here is mass-produced and available pretty much at all times, which is not necessarily a good thing, but... In the case of Nendroids and limited edition products, ho ho ho, that's good. So what is this? Uh, how to attach her goggles to her head. Unfortunately, I cannot read that. It looks like there might be a little sticky sheet or something that I'm missing, whatever that is. And we put the goggles on her head. I'm so excited for this. She has a little beach body, a dolphin, blow up toy. Uh, some goggles, a cute face, like shopping accessories. Yeah, I love this type of stuff. Um, that'd be great if how they made the, what is it called? The European play sets that I unboxed a few videos ago. If they did like a beach version of that, wouldn't that be cool? And the backdrop could be like the ocean. That'd be wicked. Okay, so. Oh, wow. She really wasn't open. They just won her and sold her off. Jeez. Um, the thing about Ami Ami is they reflect the prices at which things are coming in at the moment. So if something was sold and it, ugh, one second. if something sells and then it goes out of stock and then someone decides to resell it, Ami Ami will market it, market it. Is that how you say it? We'll market appropriately. There are some figures that came out years ago, but they're sold cheaper because nobody wants them. And Ami Ami won't try and sell you something for far more than what it's worth just because it came out years ago. There are a lot of people who think that way, and uh, I don't agree with it. So, we're not going to take everything out of the packaging because I'm more focusing on her uh, swim outfit that I want her in. I already got a Miku Nendroid in her uh, work outfit, so we don't need that. I want this stuff, but we're gonna take a look at it regardless. So let's zoom in All right, so the first little item we have is a cash counter very nice the nendroid can stand in it You can have a little role play Session with your nendroids and have a little cash mart, especially if you have uh, any type of play sets that kind of mimic a marketplace so that's adorable. We also have oh, we also have, we also have this adorable little basket. It's just green, very simple, printed on pattern. It's even got a handle so the Nendroid can hold on to it. Super adorable. Uh, what else do we have here that's market related? We have a little bag, which uh, we do see a bag exactly like this one come with the Amazon exclusive Miku, but the Amazon exclusive Miku's bag has a little leak sticking out of it, which is super adorable. So now we have two kind of bags like this. I'm almost half tempted to paint some type of uh, grocery store brand onto it, but adorable nonetheless. I'm um, going we'll to put that right there. And I forget what this is called. It's, uh, it's a chicken snack. It's basically 
a breaded chicken patty. Oop, a breaded chicken patty. <laughs> chicken patty? Is that how you would say that? A breaded chicken patty. It's basically, uh, if you picture a flat chicken burger in a ring or kind of a, a coin, an ovular coin shape, and it's in a little package, and they sell in Japan. Uh, we have them all over the world. They're just called something else in Japan. Extremely delicious, though. So that is an option for her to hold on to. So that's fantastic. And her adorable little dolphin. All, oh, it's squished. So here's a little dolphin accessory that comes with her. It's super adorable. It's completely see-through, although, of course, you have to have the components inside of which uh, how it assembles. So it's not completely see-through. I kind of wish there was some white on the bottom. Maybe I might put white on the bottom to give it more of a blow-up toy looking... Uh, look, but we'll see. And it's also got a little bit of squish there for when she holds on to it, which she will be because oh no, she sits on it, I believe. Yeah, she sits on it. Can she hold it? Uh, it doesn't look like it. Oh well. So there it is, sitting pose, Miku on her adorable dolphin. So there's a dolphin. We're just gonna put this back, and where this come from? This right here back, and a little baggy back. So, we're going to have her sitting on the dolphin, so we need this funny looking thing. <laughs> so this is the legs that you must put on if you want Miku to sit easily onto the dolphin. And all you have to do is take the dolphin, line everything up so it fits. There is a uh, particular little shape that's here, so it's kind of like the star square, or the star block goes into the star hole. And then you just push it in like that. And then you have, once you replace the little torso, which we'll do in a moment, she'll be sitting on the dolphin. So we'll just leave that out for now. And the Nendroid herself is so adorable. All Nendroids are adorable. Actually, that's not true. Good Smile has released some Nendroids, and holy God, are they ugly. So, we're going to take these off. Whoop, there we go. Oh, gosh. Carefully, try not to break anything. Twisting is not always the best, but sometimes you have to. Avoid twisting because uh, good smile joints are uh, made in a particular way that they can split in half, and you don't really want that. So, And you don't want it to break either. Breaking is not fun. There. Come on. Already had a break. <laughs> My poor snowbill Miku. God. And hmm. Just because this is a very generic Miku face, like almost every basic Miku Nendroid comes with this face. So, to show you guys, we're going to replace her face with the one scene. Whoop, and all this dumb little plastic falls away. Thank God. So in order to face swap an android, you simply take the front of the hair off, take the face plate out, get the new face plate, which is this super cute one that comes with this set, and then you place it back in. Not all androids are the same, though, when it comes to swapping the face out. Older androids, you have to take the entire head off. Oh, she's eating. I didn't even notice her little chubby cheeks. She's eating, so I guess we're going to make her eating. Okay. So, this body is not going to be being used, so uh, typically you would, pull, you would pull the torso out, so you can take this little plastic bit out, but because we're not using this torso, we're just going to bah, completely remove her head. The body is super cute, though. It's a little marketplace uniform. Uh, what does that say? The little slogan on her shirt says, We love green. I wonder what that means. I wonder if it's an environmental thing maybe who knows i'll have to look it up and see exactly what this android's all about and because uh and because the body for the summer outfit already has a little neck we don't need this piece so we can put this back in the marketplace body and we're going to take out the bathing suit body oh which is in a little baggie oh she's got a little hoodie on and everything that's super cute so boom she has no arms right now because we're going to give her some. So right now she's a sad, happy, eating, chubby cheek Miku. <laughs> so there we go. Alright, so next we have to give her her arm because she is eating. So there we go. She's enjoying her little chicken snack. 
And, oh, you know what? We're also going to give her her mic piece that has a snorkel on it. So, replacing the mic piece is super easy. All you have to do is pull it out, pull straight out, get the new snorkel piece, which is right here, and push that right in. Some older uh, Miku Nendroids. The ear pieces are much more annoying to try and keep in the place. Thank God they changed that. And then we're going to put that back on. So look at that. Um, I had talked to my friend and I said if she puts her snorkel on her earpiece, it makes me wonder if in some way, of course we know Miku has ears because there's pictures and drawings and real stuff of her with ears, but if there's some strange robotic version of her out there that the headsets are just a part of her skull because it's like why would you attach a snorkel to your headphone set if you're supposed to go swimming with it which means these headsets must be waterproof how that leads to it must be a part of her anatomy i don't know but i'd like to think so i love to think miku um if she were to come into this world she would be a very autonomous extremely smart Vocaloid singing wonder. And of course, you can get more than one. <laughs> so, it mentions something about a sticky tape or something to help this stay on, but I see nothing. Haha, -ha, I did find it. So, these were hiding in the little baggie for her stand, which she is on. So, we'll take a look at that in one second. We got her set up, but I really really want those goggles on so they're just little sticky nubs they're just two-way little styrofoam nubbies i guess okay so that's gonna take a little bit to get out so we'll get that done okay so here's our adorable little miku she is riding the dolphin into the summer distance to having a snack waving us goodbye being a little embarrassed because oh I don't know what's to be embarrassed about. It's summertime. It's time to snack and party and get tan and to get these dang things on. Okay, so the little stickies that come with it are not for these to stick to her head. All it does is it adds an extra little padding so when you put it on her head, it grips and stays in place just like sunglasses would when you wear them on top of your head. So all you have to do is put it on, push it into place, and Voila, it does not fall off. Of course, if you had a shaker and she'd fall on the floor, they would fall off. But for the simple purposes of keeping them on her head, it is just a little lightly vice gripping extra ad that is between her hair and the goggles to keep them in place. So extremely cute. I absolutely love this Miku. She's a wonderful part of my collection. I can't wait to get some photos of her with some sunnier weather. However, today it is raining out. I love the rain, but it doesn't help for summer feeling photos. So that's it for this unboxing video. Nendroid 339A Summer Family Mart 2000. 13. Come on, guys. 2013 version Miku. We'll see you guys in the next unboxing video. And as always, peace out, guys. Bye-bye.